Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is that time of the month again. It's time to check out the Nintendo Switch eShop. It's Josh here. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Uh, this is the third one I've done, and a lot of you have requested that I do it every month, and so I think this is a good, good time to jump in. So, recent releases, as we usually start with, we've got Kirby Star Allies. This game, you know, we've heard enough about this. We don't really have to talk about this too much. I did download the demo and played that. I don't know. I mean, it's a really basic Kirby game. I've played a lot of those. It seems like it's not bad. It seems like it's not great. Sort of an in-between sort of a deal. But uh, whatever. I'm personally not going to buy that. Uh, but yeah, that's out now. Tesla versus Lovecraft. An epic clash of science and madness. <laughs> Uh, this is eligible for up to 75 plus coins. What does that mean? Is that a thing Nintendo announced that I didn't care about and didn't pay attention? Oh, there's some My Nintendo thing. You get coins for it, but none of the prizes in My Nintendo are even remotely close to good. So I don't really care. What is What in the world is happening in this artwork? Holy Lord. All right. Which one of those is Tesla and which one of those is Lovecraft? I, do, I don't know if I want to know. Last day of June. Oh, June is probably one of my favorite months. It's the month that I was birthed. Last day of June. Look at that artwork. It's kind of pretty. The The characters look a little strange. Mostly uh, the fact that they don't have eyeballs. Oh, look at this. Wait, what? That's an actual, like, what is this? What? Whoa, what is this art style? This is a, <laughs> this is a very weird looking game. Uh, what? Why don't they have eyeballs? What is going on here? Is this like actual like 3D, but they have uh, like a, a filter over it or something? I'm not sure. This looks visually interesting. 20 bucks. One player. What, what category is it? Adventure, puzzle, RPG, other. Hmm. A heart-driven quest. Last day of June is inspired by Stephen Wilson's haunting song, Drive home. Recreated as recre I can't speak. Recreated as an interactive adventure. Last day of June takes players on a profound and poignant journey. Okay. Alright. A little freaked out by the fact they don't have eyeballs. Fun fact! Steven Spielberg once mentioned that in order to get a character to be likable and lovable, it's all about the character's eyes. So that game apparently hasn't listened to Steven Spielberg speak before. What am I looking at? What was the name of this? Cl Cluster Truck? Oh, what? Yeah, that's a good name. I have no clue what's going on in any of this. Cluster Truck? Oh, this is some dumbass meme game, isn't it? This is some low-quality meme garbage for $15. What's the uh, genre? Action and platformer. Cluster truck is a new kind of platformer on top of a speeding highway. Yeah. Go to hell, cluster truck. I'm not falling for your shovelware memeiness. The Sparkle 3. Do we really need to look at everything? I think I should just look at the stuff that interests me. This looks like something you'd see under a microscope of somebody who's got three days to live. All right. World Neverland. I feel like we looked at that, didn't we? Is this one I've seen? No. Wow. Graphics. Look at that. What am I even looking at? Single woman. Five-year-old youth. Corpse soldier. Partner. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Do you want to go on a date somewhere tomorrow? Ooh, of course I will. And then they both walked directly into the ocean, and nobody's ever seen them since. His name is Deborah, and her name is Sabina. Sabina? Who names... The, is that... Look at his facial expression over there. Can I zoom in? No. Oh, darn it. Hmm. He has blue hair. That's wacky. People don't have blue hair, unless they also have Tumblr accounts. What is this? Mahjong? Enchanting Mahjan match. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks like it's real. That's, you know what that is? That is a visual headache. What am I looking at? Mahjong, obviously. 
Ooh, look at those ladies. I like the one that's playing some sort of flute. These screenshots actually have audio with them, apparently. Okay, let's, come on, elephant in the room here. Bingo for Nintendo Switch! Now we're getting to the good stuff. Play bingo for Nintendo Switch and get excited by everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Play bingo for Nintendo Switch and get excited by everyone. <laughs> what does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. Well, okay. Here we go. That Nintendo seal of quality. Bingo! I do like the little clock guy. Look, I, you want you think he's related to uh, TT from Diddy Kong Racing? Is that what that clock's name was? I don't know. I hated him, so... Look at this. Guys, I mean, this is the definition of an exciting video game. It's like, uh, you know, people play bingo just because it's fun. They're not playing bingo because they can win a bunch of money. They're playing bingo because it's fun to sit quietly and and mark off numbers on a card as an old man on a stage calls them and occasionally has a, a heart attack. Well, I don't know what to say there. What is this eligible for up to 25 coins? Everything has that now. How weird. The long reach. Well, let's check it out. Uh, okay, let's leave. Oh, here we go. Gem Smashers. Gem, Gem Smashers. Sonic the Hedgehog, Pikachu, and Mr. Krabs finally have their own video game. What are the little parasites that are collecting around them? What am... Oh, okay. What is the game? Oh, look at that. Wow. Cool. It's like the type of thing you see in a pop-up ad, but it's an actual game being sold on the world's most successful video game console in the year 2018. Look at that, guys. Why is this on here? Are you ready for a fast-paced action puzzle game? It's a question mark. <laughs> Don't oversell it. Oh, we got to read this. Jeez, we're going to read this whole description. One to two players. It's an arcade puzzle game. Okay. Got it. It looks like something that would be on an iPad. It looks like something that would be giving me a virus if I clicked on it on my computer. All right, let's read this. Long ago, the Earth was devastated by a fearsome creature. The scientist... I am Bu and his catchy name Imbu and his henchmen robbed the Earth of all its energy and trapped its peaceful inhabitants in sparkling gemstones. Miraculously, three heroes escaped: Bio, Bam, and Bomb. Fuck! Oh, Jesus, <laughs> who names this stuff? They became the Gem Smashers. This sounds like the intro to like an, a really crappy '80s cartoon. I feel like I should be having a big bowl of cereal in the glow of a TV at about 6 o'clock in the morning watching this. Well, we, we don't even want it. We don't want to know more about that. Oh, my God. Coffin Dodgers. That's going to look great. Oh, my God. I can't wait till we get to that. Hold on, though. Come on. We got to look at this. Okay, we looked at it. Let's move on. Coffin Dodgers. Pimp up your mobility. <laughs> Let's look at it first. Hold on, hold on. We gotta look at it. Oh my god. Mr. Fredrickson has his own video game, apparently. Oh god. Here you go. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. What is happening to the Nintendo? Why is there a weird zombie fish woman there? What is that? Oh my lord. How does this get approved? Why does Nintendo not say no? Coffin Dodgers! Alright, let's read the description, shall we? Ho ho! 
pimp up your mobility scooter and tank on the Grim Reaper and his zombie army in a race for your soul. Armed with a variety of homemade weapons and gadgets, battle your way through a 13-race championship or face your friends in a two- to four-player split screen. Oh, my God, four players. Look at this. There are four areas. I'm going to try to read this as seriously as possible. <clears throat> There are four areas within the Sunny Pines Retirement Community, each featuring its own mini tournament in which your rank against other competitors will engender. Oh God, I lost interest. The, apparently, you're racing for your soul. If you lose, you die, and your soul goes to hell. Wow, I, I want to buy this. This looks so garbage that I want to buy it. Nintendo Switch, everybody. The Nintendo Switch. Remember back in the days when everybody would make fun of the Wii because there's so much shovelware? Yeah. <laughs> Fidget spinner. Spiral splatter. What am I even looking at? What is this? What's the puzzle and party? Kids, <clears throat> never let anybody tell you that you can't get a video game on the Nintendo Switch because somebody got this released on the Nintendo Switch. So frankly, you you I mean, I, I don't know what what you what do you have to do to not get your game on the Switch? Like what does your game have to be to get denied? Does it have to be on fire or something? Cuz this seems like the type of thing that you should say, "Well, no no thanks. That looks like boobs." Anyways. Flint hook. Oh, okay. This looks promising. I like the I, honestly, I like the design of that character, Flint Hook. Okay, it's a it's another pixely indie looking game, but this looks kind of cool. I like this. This gets a thumbs up. Oh, I like. I have a weird thing. I love lips like those bad guys have down towards the bottom of the screen. I love when a character has lips like that. But uh, no, this looks cute. This looks good. I like this. Ooh, look at that dude. I, this is one I might want to buy. I might look into that. Hook into action. Shoot, loot, and plunder. Oh, I love doing all those things. Okay, that's a good one. Hey, you know what? You made it to the wish list. That's going to be a new thing we do on these videos. See how many games are good enough to make it to my wish list. So that, that made it. We've got one. Kona? $20. I bet it's crap. Oh. Oh, God. How... This isn't crap at all. This looks It doesn't look like my kind of game, but it looks like it has effort put into it. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, I just hate looking at the snow. I'm so over the snow. I'm glad we don't have any anymore, but uh, I need another 10 months before I can see snow again. Spy Chameleon, everybody's favorite chameleon is back. It's Spy Chameleon time, guys. Oh, look at that. He's a spy and he's a chameleon. Don't go into the weird... The hell was that? <laughs> Strange noise came from across my room for some reason. Oh, maybe it's spy chameleon. What is this? I don't know. Eight bucks, eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Visually, it looks like a very outdated game, but eight dollars, maybe it's cute. Maybe it's cute. That one's not getting onto the wish list, though. Turtle Pop. Ooh. Let's go to one eye. How do you even pronounce that? Cut. You got to remove your tongue just to be able to pronounce what that says. Actually, hold the phone. This looks pretty damn interesting. Look at that. It's a cute art style. What are you doing it, though? I'm still trying to figure that one out. I mean, we could watch the video... But I don't want to get copyright flagged, and also I, I think the volume would mess up my audio, so. Huh, do I look into that? I don't know. It's got a cute art style, but other than that, I don't know what the game is, so we're not going to give it the benefit of the doubt. World Conqueror X! Um. Holy Lord, what is... Okay, yeah, sure. There you go. This looks complicated. Guderian. Guderian? Okay. Let's move on. Turtle Pop is what we want to look at. 
Reminds me of Dirty Pop. Dirty Pop, Turtle Pop. Hey, wow! It's like, it's like you know, uh, some weird Chinese developer made a game for the Nintendo Switch. Wow! I am so blown away by the insane quality of this video game. Oh my god! Look at all the things on the screen! There's four players too! Look at this! Oh my lord! Turtle Pop! Journey to Freedom! Let's get the hell out of there. We're free. Ooh, what is it? I Zombie? Okay, what is I? Quite a different zombie game. Okay, what is that? Hold on, I want to look at these guys. The guy on the left there is really weird looking. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Looks like another mobile phone game. This seems like something that might have been on the iPad at some point in its life. But uh, maybe it's fun. Only five bucks. I just can't be bothered with it right now. What is this? Earthlock. I, I saw a pig. I saw the little pig and I was like, ooh. Oh, wow. It's a 3D game. Look at this. Doesn't look like my kind of game, but this looks like it's well made. How much was this? Oh, look at that guy. Earthlock. I like that little frog hat, too. Reminds me of Jenny from Chibi Robo. What? $29.90. Why the 90 cents and not 99 cents? Okay. Whatever. All right, guys. Those are the recent releases on the Nintendo Switch eShop. There was a few of them in there that looked like they weren't that bad. Let's go through just for the heck of it. We're not going to do this all the time, maybe, but uh, I want to do it this time. So let's go through the stuff that we just think should, uh, that I think should not be on there. Cl a cluster truck, get it out of here. Uh, the Sparkle Genesis 3, get it out of here. The ne what was that? I don't even remember, so I won't say it. Bingo, get it out of here. Mahjong match, get it out of here. Uh, oh, God, what the hell is this thing? This looks like it's one to get out of here. Aim and shoot in this arcade Joy-Con controller game. What does that mean? Oh, what? what? <laughs> What a mess. Like, what even... Okay, get this out of here. That could get out of there. Gem Smashers, get it out of here. Coffin Dodgers, get it out of here. Spiral Splatter, get it out of here. Uh, Spy Chameleon, I will leave that one on there. Turtle Pop, get it out of here. Uh, so those are all the ones that should that just absolutely shouldn't be on this service because they're just so low quality. All right, that's, that looks fine. Okay, let's move on. Games that are on sale. Oh, boy. Millie, for, I feel like some of these we might have looked at, so we won't look at them again. Is there anything on here that's on sale that makes me think, ooh. Uh, floor Kids. What is this, dude? Is that Conan O'Brien riding a rocket into space? Man, I wish that was happening in real life. Just get rid of him. Let him blow up into the sun. What? What? Is this like a shmup? Is this one of those shmups the kids have been talking about? That's that's Conan O'Brien now. All right. Uh, okay. There's a lot of games on sale. Ginger Beyond the Crystal. Uh, that's poetry. That's not a title for a video game. That's that's poetry. Oh. I'm always blown away when I see actual 3D games on this. Uh, that screenshot looks oddly low resolution. Same with this. There's like a there's like a pixelation to it. It looks like a is this like a platformer? Looks well, wow, what the heck is that thing? Okay. Platformer, is that what it is? Yeah, platformer for 16 bucks, sure. Looks cute enough. I mean, I wouldn't buy it, but it lo looks cute enough. Tumblestone. I remember Tumblestone. That was garbage. Uh, okay. Wait, what? It's on sale for a It's on sale, guys. The sale! Oh my god! It's the biggest sale in the world! And look, you need a micro SD card, which is sold separately to buy the game. Wow! Oh my god, it's on sale, everybody! What a bargain! This video game about stupid basketball nonsense was only $150, and now it's only $74! On sale, it's $15 more than the average video game, because it's basketball! Wow, look at these guys! 
They're doing so much. Such heroes. They're playing with a toy ball and throwing it in a net. Oh my god. What a bunch of brave, amazing men. Look at them. Oh my god. It's basketball. They're playing with a toy. Wow. Better spend $150. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till the sale is over so I can give them the $150. I don't want to rob them. Why would I want to rob 2K? I want to give them all the money they deserve. That was a weird little tangent. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to the best sellers. Oh, wow. Kirby knocked off Mario. That's interesting. Kirby's one of the, uh, it is the best seller in the last week. Mario is still up there somehow. That's really depressing. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe being that high is very depressing because it's just a port. Good game, but it's just a port. Splatoon is higher than... Where's... Oh, my God. Oh, I was going to say, are Mario and Zelda not on here? Oh, geez. Zelda... Well, this is digital. I, I feel like a lot of people probably buy the Mario and Zelda games physical for some reason, but they've been on there for a year now. For an entire year, Breath of the Wild has been in the top list. That's interesting. Overcooked is on there. Is, any, is there any on here that I'm like... Into? A human fall flat being number four is amazing. Like, that's shocking to me. I, I did play that game, and it is one of those dumb meme games, but it is quite funny when you play it with a friend. Uh, Stardew Valley, I have no idea why people are so in love with that. Uh, and just to annoy people, I'm going to continue to not buy it. Okay, moving on. Coming soon. This is the last category. Let's see what's coming soon to the Nintendo Switch. We've got an uh, anime game. We've got a Shantae. That is the crappiest logo that ever crapped. Hold on a second. Let's look at that logo. That logo sucks. Why is the and the so small? And why is the lo like the font, the actual text, should be down and to the left a bit more? Because you've got all this open space with that weird red disc, which seems completely unnecessary. Anyways, did you guys see her boobs? Look at her boobs, guys. So there she is. Oh, it's pixelated. Oh, look at those pants. I'm a fan of those pants. Why doesn't she look like that in the actual gameplay? Apparently, these are good games. Uh, I've never played them. And I probably... Oh, wow. The Swish. Wow, I like the shiny pants. And I'm a big fan of the way the like the area by the crotch kind of dips in. That is, and look at that. She's got a skull bra on. I, I, if there are any women watching this right now that look like this, I would like to invite you to join me in holy matrimony. Look at that. Well, I I might have to. Why are there zombies? What the hell is that about? I might have to buy this game now. But then you look at the pixelated version of her, like the in-game version of this character looks like a dump. Like, what is that? Well, she looks terrible. Why doesn't she just look like that? I don't know. Well, that was fun. Swim out! Okay. Dive into the relaxing and refreshing atmosphere of Swim Out, a strategic turn-based puzzle game. What is this? Hold on a second. What is this? What? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What the hell am I even looking at? What? What is this? I... I'm slightly intrigued. I'm intrigued! This seems like it could be interesting. Six bucks. Comes out the 20th of this month. Puzzle strategy. Let's read more. This might make my wish list. Strategic that that will transport you into a sunny day by the swimming pool, the river of the the river or the sea. Plan each of your strokes wisely and be sure to never cross any other swimmer's path if you want to peacefully enjoy the sea view on a cozy chase lounge. Okay, I like swimming. That seems like it could be a fun puzzle type game. Is it a puzzle game? I I, I have the memory of a goldfish. Did it say puzzle game? Yes, it did. Okay. that's That made the wish list. Bad dudes versus Dragonia. What? Dragoninja? Dragoninja? What the? What is this? Why does it look? Well, I know they're doing it on purpose, but why would I want to play a game that looks like that? 
All right. Nothing. That's what I want to buy. Hey, what'd you buy on the Switch last week? Nothing. Oh, come on. You couldn't find anything you wanted? Yeah, I just told you. Nothing. Yeah, I know, but you, why didn't you buy? There's some good games on there. I bought nothing. All right, take it easy. Jesus. What do you not understand, you fool? I'm trying to tell you I bought nothing. I know you bought nothing. I heard you the first time. No, the game's name is nothing. Oh. The year is 1994, and it is the future. Holy shit. 1994 is the year the Jaws ride opened at Universal Orlando. 1994 is the year that the Airwalk Gym Plastic Shoes, my favorite shoes of all time, launched. That was a damn good year. 1994 is the best year in human history. Jaws ride and amazing shiny shoes. That's all I needed. What is this? This doesn't look like 1994. Why is that? That looks like uh, Benjamin Franklin there. What even is this? Oh, piss off. What is this? $1.99. Yeah, I'll bet. Um, Gekido! Kintaro's Revenge. Man, this is, a, this is a drab future we've got going on here. These are the upcoming releases. What is this? Slay Away Camp, Butcher's Cut. Look at that. It's like the Minecraft. What is that? Ooh, wait a minute. Shut up, Josh. This looks like it could be kind of cute. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Do you like pick a movie off the shelf there? And then it's like a little video game. Is that, why does that say five? That looks like the Jaws cover. The one thing that it looks like the poster art for Jaws. Is that what this is? Is this like a thing where you just pick movies off of like a, a rental shelf and then you play it and it's like a mini game? Because cause that could be interesting. There's only one thing scientists know for sure. It didn't come in peace. What is this? Well, let's read. The most pilot and popular game you have the killer puzzle game where you control Skullface, a psychotic slasher hell-bent on revenge. Slide this adorably demented murderer around hundreds of isometric puzzle levels to squash fly... Oh, flay. Squash flay? Who says the word flay ever? and decapitate hapless victims in this darkly comic homage to 80s horror movies. This, I'm slightly intrigued by. 300 fiendish puzzle levels to massacre, massacre your way through. I like how the game where you massacre people is the one that I'm interested in. Ooh, a video game where I can kill a bunch of people as a psychotic murderer? Called me in! Uh, I'm gonna watch the trailer for this afterwards. I seen the Jaws box, and if I can be a little shark doing things, that's cool. All right, we're going to put that in the wish list. Wish list. Moon Patrol, everybody. It's an arcade archive. Moon Patrol. Wow. I can't wait to play Moon Patrol. Oh, my God. Call the boys over. Get the popcorn. Cancel all your plans. It's time to play Moon Patrol. What was the name of it? Moon Patrol. Oh, my God. Look at this. The graphics. Holy Lord. It looks so fun. These are the kind of games that they just, they're, they're timeless. It's a classic. Oh, I remember playing this when I was three in 1974. I've got another two years until I die. I'm going to play some Moon Patrol. What is that garbage doing? <laughs> I see a pumpkin. I see a... J Actually, I lie. I see a jack-o'-lantern. Sorry, it's very racist to call a jack-o'-lantern a pumpkin. Eat, beat, dead spike son. Well, that killed my boner. What is this? What fresh hell is this? What is this? No, really, what is this? Looks like some sort of rhythm game. Huh. I thought that's I thought I thought that said soy divide, and I thought this was gonna be a game about a bunch of beta males drinking soy milk. Doesn't look like that at all. Wow. Look at them. I can't tell if this is an old game or if this is just the way some indie develop this has gotta be an old game. This looks like a very old game. Look at that scorpion looking thing. Is this screenshot, is that just the quality of the screenshot? It's not going to get any clearer than that? Because the other ones get clearer. Look at that skeleton. All right. Tokitori. 
Uh, why is Toki Tori on there? Isn't the sequel already on the Switch? What do we need the original one for? Oh, Urban Trial Underground. Hey, I think that's a really old game, isn't it? Why do I feel like I've heard that title before? Look at this. That's got some pretty good visuals. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. That dude looks like he's having a damn gnarly time. Gnarly out of 10. The Bunker, finally a video game about Archie Bunker. Oh, this is going to be great. What do you like? You yell at the meathead and you kick people out of your chair. And Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is that Archie Bunker as a child? Is that Archie Bunker on the loading dock? What is this? I always wondered what it looked like where he worked. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a game based on all in the family, guys. Oh, my God. This is a video game where you detect kidney stones in teenagers. Finally, a video game that uh, appeals to that niche market. Oh, this guy just looked at the Nintendo Switch eShop. <laughs> All right. It's enough references about something that nobody's going to know because uh, nobody watches All in the Family who watches my videos, I would imagine. Deep Ones. Deep Ones is a retro arcade platformer with multi-genre parts. Shut up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Ah! Uh, uh, and then that's the, yeah, and then that's the artwork they use for it, you know? Hey, guys, you want to play Deep Ones? Oh, it looks kind of cool. Let's play it. Is it, oh... Oh. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, that looks neat. It look kind of a neat looking thing. Looks kind of scary. I mean, oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Some really moody atmosphere. It's going to be like some intense thing where you're fighting a bunch of weird underwater sea creatures. Oh. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> Listen, you're not tuning into these videos for me to not be sassy, right? I think this is the third installment. You got to expect the sass at this point. Oh, my God. Japan's most infamous shooter makes its long-awaited Nintendo Switch trademark debut. Gal Gun 2. Hmm. Something wrong? You're really gawking at me. Okay. I've never heard a girl accuse me of gawking at them. Let me play too. Please, please, can I? What even is this? What the hell? You're turning girls into fetuses? Is that the, is this a first, okay. It's a first person shooter based in Japan where you shoot your, your fancy laser gun at girls and turn them back into their fetus status. What the hell? Okay. This is clearly for people who have a fetish of being stomped on. Add this to my wish list. I... I feel wrong. I feel like I... Does this game come with a bag of Doritos and a towel to wipe my tears with? All right. $60 for that. $60. Shame on you, Japan. Shame on you. Drago Din... Drago Di Oh, Drago Dino. I didn't see the O oh, because it's an egg. Look at that. That you you don't read that as Drago Dino, by the way. You read that as Drago Din. The egg should have like it should be yellow or something. I don't know. I like the artwork so far. This looks kind of cute. Okay, what are we looking at here? It's a what? Choose your character. Ooh, who would I pick? I would pick. Hmm. I like the guy, the blue guy in the top, the top row, the blue guy. He's got blue stuff going on. That's my dude. That's my dude. Well, this looks good enough, I guess. You know, nothing, nothing is offending me there. What is it like a platformer, adventure platformer, puzzle fighting? Okay. And then finally, what the hell is this? Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy. Is this some, like, indie thing? What is this? All right, well, it looks super generic. I hate his shoes. Oh, God, this looks really... What? Oh, my God, look how crappy this Look at that stupid penguin. 
Well, it's an indie developer who's making something that's not pixel art, so that's good. Nitro. I don't know. I mean, for indie developers, this is good. What is this like? It's probably only like five bucks, right? Oh, it doesn't even have a price. I imagine that's probably, well, maybe like 10 bucks that'll probably be. And by the way, for all of you who already left a comment because you didn't bother to uh, detect my sass, uh, I'm well aware that Crash Bandicoot is not an indie developed game. I'm well aware of what this game is. I just wanted to see how many people would leave an angry comment or give me a thumbs down on the video without waiting a moment to watch the rest of the video. Congratulations, the joke's on you. You look like an imbecile. I mean, I look like an imbecile too, but nah, I brought you down to my level. Anyways, I don't know. I don't really care about Crash Bandicoot. I don't know why he's something that would be in demand. He, he seems incredibly generic. He's one of these mascots that was made just to compete with Mario. And uh, I don't know. Apparently, it's really fun though. But I, don't know, I wouldn't buy it personally, but... It's also been available on the other platforms for quite some time. But that is that, ladies and gentlemen. That is your March. That is your March Nintendo Switch eShop video for March. <laughs> that's your Mar that's your March Nintendo Switch eShop video for April. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a really sad time to own a Switch because there's really nothing that's really interesting coming out for the Switch anytime soon. Well, no, that's a lie. Nintendo Labo is coming out next month, but obviously you're not going to download that digitally because you need the cardboard. But I'm going to get that. That looks cute and interesting. And then I have to wait until the end of June to get Mario Tennis. But uh, literally until July, I'm getting two games for my Switch. Labo and Mario Tennis. These are not exactly busy times to be a Nintendo owner. But, uh, yeah. All right. Leave your angry comments below.